Welcome to Fusion 5 Radio with your host, Fusion 5 CEO, Rainy Busby. Welcome back to Fusion 5 Radio. I'm your host, Rainy Busby, here with Mark Dildine. Hello. <laughs> and that, like how we ended our, our last little uh, episode there, it was like, yeah, we're asking for your feedback. That's right. And because it's important to us, we want to be the best we can be and provide the most value just like anyone else. So, and now, and, and, yes. you're gonna, and you're going to teach about about feedback. I'm going to teach about feedback. So, and we need feedback. Yes. Somehow that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Oh, I'm excited about it. I know. Yeah. Well, yeah. everybody needs feedback. If if you want to grow, you, you usually get a mentor or a coach or someone right. that can help you. Or maybe a grandfather or a parent that's going to provide advice and it helps you to grow. You're gathering feedback. Feedback is just asking questions and listening to what people say and then taking action on that feedback. Well, you know, in, the, in Proverbs, it, it again talks about you know, having wise counsel. Right. You know, and that's what you need. And yes. the, the only way you're going to get wise counsel is you shut your mouth and listen to them. And but get you the feedback. To, yeah, but you have to ask the question first, right? You say, yeah. I'm interested in learning more about X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. And so can you please share some insight so that we can, you know, really be able to learn from what that person is sharing of their knowledge, their expertise, their experience. That's True. very, very valuable. Well, you know, I like the word feedback, though, you know, the definition. Feed. Mm-hmm. What does, well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll get really kind of schoolish here, we'll, we'll, like a high school. Tell me what the definition of feed is, Rainy, in 10 seconds. Now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, it goes back to freshman year, don't we? Yeah. But the definition of feed is? It's to receive. That's so right. And back you. is what? Um, that's the give. So you're receiving and you're giving. That's right. And back is, it returns back to you. Yes. There you go. So you have that definition. I just wanted clarity there. <laughs> I know I'm a little strange, but you know, that's, that's. I know. Yeah. Like, this is a joke, right? Yeah, no, yeah. it's no, not. No, it's okay. not. I'm really serious. Like, give me a definition of feed back. Let me pull yeah. up dictionary. You should see, you should see Rainey's look when I asked her. She says, what is the definition of feed? She just kind of looked at me and went. Really? Really? You don't know the... I know the answer, but I love the look you give me. It's like, hello? Hello there. Why don't you learn? Anyway, so, well, we're going to actually get into the uh, the educational part of the program by letting Rainy loose and uh, sharing with you. Now, let me encourage you also at the same time, uh, you know, to have that pen and paper, write down how to get a hold of us over at Fusion5Radio.com. You'll go there. You'll see the email uh you know, a form there, fill it out, write to us from that. And uh, also when you go there, you can find out about our show, a little bit more about Rainy. You could click on the thoughts aspect of the thoughts banner there. You'll find out about the uh, daily show that I have on the station. And uh, there's so much there. I mean, really, but we want to hear more from you, actually. So be sure to share with us. And right now, I would like to bring to the main microphone. Sound cool? Oh, that's very cool. Okay. Yes. Main microphone. <laughs> people will think there's one big main microphone you know it's it's there a visual it's always mine go with me on this one follow me on this mine. here we go yours okay and now coming to the main microphone at the fusion 5 radio studios here's rainy busby rainy take it away and you're a goofy he's goofy Okay, (laughs) so as we've been warming you up, we're going to talk about the importance of gathering feedback. And it really has to do with knowing is better than not knowing, right? So ask the questions. Sometimes you may not get the answers you want, and that's okay. But taking action is non-negotiable. You have to take action whether you like what you heard or not. And so we'll walk through some of the criteria feedback. And I'll help you kind of get a, a better understanding of how you can apply it to your business or to your organizations or to your church or what have you. So let's start out and under and uh, talk a little bit about what typically happens when we talk about gathering feedback. So we assume we already know. We don't need to ask, right? And we act accordingly, right? Also, we have the tendency to gather the impact or the input. And like I told you about... And then we don't take action because we don't like what we heard. So that's bad. And then sometimes we just don't ask ask at all. We just we just assume all's going well. So you can either ask and act accordingly, gather the input and do nothing, or don't ask at all and just keep doing what you've been doing. 
So, yeah, there's there's uh, there's choices for everyone to make. So then I then I have to say, okay, well, why is it important for me to gather feedback, right? Why why do I want to care about? How is that going to provide value to me or my organization? And I, I kind of have a couple of items that I think are worth exploring. So it helps us to come up with new ideas or new products. We talked a little bit about it helps you to grow as an individual or grow as a company. So if you have an idea for a new product or you're looking for a new product, throw it out there and see what people tell you. They're like, you know what? I could really use it, this product in blue instead of just, and just green or whatever that is. And then people like to know that they're being heard. They like to know that they have a voice. That goes a long way from building better relationships, right? We want our our customers or the people that are in that community or in that committee with us to know that we really appreciate their input and we value that input. And that helps us to improve ourselves, improve our product and services. And overall, it can help you maybe get more people in the church, increase your sales. So we'll be able to um, stay in front of people. You know, maybe every quarter you're reaching out and you're saying, hey, I just wanted to find out how are our products doing for you? Are you satisfied? Do you tell people about them? You know, and so that's saying, oh, yeah, I forgot about that company. Yeah, so now I'm staying in front of my customers or my potential customers because I'm asking for their input. So here's some best practices that we typically advise folks to do when they're out there looking at gathering feedback or trying to get a, a good sense of direction as to where they need to take their organization. So there's a variety of ways we can do it. We can submit an online survey. So there's like a, a tool called SurveyMonkey, which is really easy to use. And you could send that out to people and say, hey, here's a quick four or five questions. Just be very careful on how you ask the questions. And you want it to be simple and very clear because people can read things and kind of um, take them out of context sometimes or in different contexts. So that's important. You could maybe just give them a form. So maybe just as they're, they're leaving, maybe they came for an event. And you're like, would you please spend a couple minutes and fill out this form for us so we can get an idea if you like the program, which parts you like the best, which one's not so much. We could go see them face to face in person. And we could say, hey, I was just wondering, want to make sure everything is going well. Are you satisfied with our customer service? I know you had a, an issue. I wanted to make sure it's been resolved. We care about you and we want to make sure that you continue to be part of our organization or be our customer. And then you can also do a phone call, right? Just checking in. Sometimes that goes a long way as well if you don't have time for the in-person. And then there's certain events that should trigger your thought process as to, I need to gather some feedback. And some of those events could be if there's a major change that's either already happened or it's getting ready to happen. So you're like, you know what? We want it. We want people to know about this. So let's go ahead and, and kind of start the process. Here's what we're thinking about doing. We're not sure if we should choose A or B. What do you think? All right. So now we're going to be able to provide data to help us make those decisions. It could be that maybe we have some support issues or some challenges going on. Maybe we had a product recall, right? That happens with a lot of the cars. Every time you turn around, there's a product recall or car seats or whatever. I mean, you see it every day. So that could be a, a major support challenge that you want to reach out to your people and say, D were you taken care of when we issued this recall? Were you notified? Did it Was the item replaced? Was it replaced in a timely fashion? So whatever that is you're interested in. And then um, anytime we say, you know, consider a data driven perspective. So what I mean by that is that maybe every quarter you reach out to people, say, hey, just checking in. Here's a couple things we'd like to make sure we're still, you know, keeping you as a satisfied customer or a satisfied patron. Or maybe it's every year we reach out to you. So, I mean, understand that you, you want to create like a calendar of days when you're going to reach out to your folks. And then taking action. We talked about taking action. So make sure you, you provide people with updates. You let them know. You heard them. Let them know what you consider priority. So if, if 50 people were telling you the same thing, that's probably a priority. Let them know what actions you're taking, what you're, go what you're going to do about it, when you're going to have it completed by, right? And then explain the process about how you gather the feedback and how important it is to them. So now they know they provided feedback. They know you heard it and you're taking action. It doesn't get any better than that. That's just really quite, that's, that's really the whole cycle of feedback and the true value that you'll see out of it. Um, 
part of the feedback process is that we capture a lot of data. So it's always important to, to you know, all the feedback we call data. So every comment that people did, or maybe you ask them to choose A, B, or C selection. So those, that's all information. And we want to keep that in a consolidated place so that we can start to identify trends or themes. If we're seeing a lot of people are heading in one direction, then we need to make some decisions based on that input. And then um, finally, here's some um, results related to feedback that you can use. So let's say your customer satisfaction would be a great result. And we're going to talk about our next show, Scorecards, which is going to help us to track customer satisfaction stats, revenue increase, which means we're making more money or we're getting more donations or whatever that is. Maybe our expenses are down because of this feedback. We were able to make some changes, which reduced our cost. So now we can lower the cost of the product back to the consumer, and then they win as well. So there's value for them. And then maybe we get less returns. So, so when you have faulty products and people are taking them back to the store, that's something you want to measure because that helps you to realize. And so that's kind of that's kind of wrap for uh, feedback and the importance of uh, gathering it and making sure people know they're heard. Hello, friends. If you're enjoying our program, Fusion 5 Radio with Rainy Busby, let us know by going to fusion5radio.com and emailing us. Rainy wants to encourage you to write to her with any questions or comments that you may have. That web address, again, is fusion5radio.com. Fusion5radio.com. Rainy wants to help you be more productive in business and ministry by sharing with you each week how to get your life back through simple, practical steps. Fusion5radio.com. Write to us. Join us next week. Be blessed.